Hello, everyone. This is Shag. Broadcasting live from Inconvenience Studios. I was gonna try to record some PlayStation games with the help of PlayStation Emulator Mi Emulation Man. But my computer apparently hates reading PlayStation discs. Because one of them just didn't work, and the other one loaded forever. So this is the one that just didn't work as an emulated thing. Can you guess what game this is yet? Those of you who know what game this is might in fact know what game this is. Now those who can read will also know what this game is. Even though the intro is really cool, we're gonna skip it for now in favor of actually playing. Legend of Mana. I forgot the theme song wasn't on the top. Oh, there it is. Okay, enough. Legend of Mana. Hey, do we have any load games we can load game? Just, just for the sake of it. I wonder if we do. Is there even a regular type PlayStation memory card in this PS2 at the moment? No, there's not. Awesome! All my work today will be for naught. Unless I can find it. I wonder if it's over here somewhere. Is it? I can't see anything. Well, this is just getting more inconvenient by the second. <sighs> Whatever. Not like I was going to keep what I did today anyway. Because we are going to show a drastic disregard for how to properly play this game. Actually, I think... I think Legic is borrowing my memory card. Cruel irony, for I found his Ratchet and Clank disc in my PS2 right as I tried to do this. Oh... Oh my. Oh my. Oh my. Ahem, anyway, let's let's break out of our irony induced stupor and actually do something. We're gonna play as the guy, just cuz. I know that's breaking tradition for me because I usually play as the female for some reason. We're also going to abuse the bow, because I like abusing the bow. You Yep, that's where I got that idea. Let's just for kicks and shenanigans, let's see how many letters we can fit into this. Ooh, analog control, don't forget about that one. How many letters can you make one man's name consist of? Let's see... We are seeing... I bo I, I'm... <coughs> I'm remember... <coughs> <coughs> Jesus Christ, everything wants me to not play this game. I'm remembering this game having an obnoxiously long character limit, so let's see if I'm remembering correctly. Because if I am- oh, that was wrong. Let's see here, let's see here, let's see. Ah, we can't be James K. Polk. Polk. That's- we can still be James... K. James Perk. That'll work. Alright, let's go. And since we don't care about, like, natural. If I was to actually play this, I would probably choose a guide to look at and be like, I will find the ideal landmass and place everything in the proper order. But since we're not doing that, let's try to find the least ideal landmass area. Because if you don't place everything in the proper order, you can't do all the missions. And anyone who doesn't do all the missions is obviously not a true gamer. So let's, um... Let's find something with a lot of obnoxious water in the way all over the place. Mm-hmm. What is the least ideal spot? Eh, this'll do. <clears throat> Anti-idealism. So. Meet game mechanic. His name is Mailbox. Our first step is to place our house on the map. We may place it in any of these glowing locations. 
and doing so will allow us to enter it. And also, the things you place around other things will influence, like, mana levels and stuff. And the farther stuff is from your house, the harder the monsters there are. That's a basic rundown of what I remember about this thing. Uh, house go! That house went. Naturally, since home is the only location, we are forced into it. Initiate intro sequence. Just kidding, we're skipping that. Because in the interest of showing how this g oh, we can't skip all of it. Hello, mana tree. You are, you are, you are, you're big. Do, but do, do, in interest of showing things like gameplay, we will be skipping things like story. But were I to actually let's play this, we would of course actually care about the story a little bit. But. At least a little, that is. Do 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 do. Remember me. Need me. I can provide you with everything. I am love. Love is all you need. That's. I I'm not ever sure if I really understood what this intro was doing in form of words. Then again, I don't know if I ever cared. I don't know. I do like this game though. But it's been seven minutes and we haven't actually played yet, so let's go! Let's go! James Kirk, awaken! Your name is very silly, why did I name you that? Hold circle to run! Unless, of course, there's an option that lets you run all the time. No, there isn't! This game is too primitive for that. Okay. This little cactus! He doesn't do anything yet, but after you take a mission, and you complete the mission, then Little Cactus will have a few words to say in a diary entry to write about the mission. But first, hey Sproutling, be weird! The world is shaped by your imagination! I know this, so I receive some building blocks with which to make a town appear on the map. And we're gonna do that quick-like, because we don't have any time to lose. Welcome to the world map. The world of mana. Press square to select an artifact! Holy crap, the tutorial text is gargantuan. It wants to eat you. And since, again, we don't care about anything at all, Domino goes over here. Bing. Couple of houses. Welcome, Domino. Uh, the town of Domino. It, it's the first town. It's a town. So this... This mysterious fellow is... El Azul. He is a very important recurring NPC partner character in a line of quests. This onion guy over here is just an onion guy, however. Duel, onion warrior! That's right. He's not just an onion guy, he's the well, onion warrior! But you know how that goes. So, normally there'd be a lot of other stuff to find in this town. Like, I don't know, log books detailing the sorts of people you meet and the vegetables that you acquire. I believe that is actually true, and I'm not just sort of messing things up. But screw that Niccolo! He's a rabbit. He's a, he's a scam merchant rabbit, but he's awesome. He's a traveling merchant, but the highway is full of bandits. It's too dangerous to leave the town, don't you think so? Pfft, nah, we're James Kirk. We're brave, and we can go teach those bandits a lesson. I like money, also. Niccolo's business unusual. One. Spoilers, there's more than one of these. I think there's like three. 
Eventually he learns to stop his silly conniving ways, perhaps. But right now he's just a rabbit. So, we need to go see Tipo, who is a teapot. Yes, indeed. This game is fairly strange. Just a warning. <laughs> 